Raymond Emmett Berry, born February 27, 1933, is a former football wide receiver. He played for the Baltimore Colts during the two NFL championship wins. He later had a career in coaching, highlighted by his trip to Super Bowl XX as, he, as head coach of the New England Patriots. He is a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. In high school, Paris, Texas High, and college, Berry caught very few passes. He didn't start on his high school team until he was a senior even though his father was a coach. After high school, Barry played one year of junior college football at Shriner University, then Institute, in Caraville, Texas, during the 1950 campaign. He helped the Mountaineers finish its most successful season in 10 years with a record of 7-3. and three. In three seasons at Southern Methodist University, Barry received only 33 passes total before being selected by the Colts in the 20th round of the 1954 NFL Draft. During his career, he led the NFL in receptions three times and was renowned for his great hands and precise pass patterns. In his career, he only dropped a total of two passes and fumbled only twice. He was selected to the Pro Bowl six times from 1957 to 1961 and in 1965. He also made the all-NFL team from 1958 to 1960. Barry was considered the very identity of the great Baltimore Colts team of the 1950s and 60s, along with Johnny Unitas. Yeah. One of Barry's most notable performances was in the 1958 NFL Championship game, known as the greatest game ever played, in which he caught a championship record 12 passes for 178 yards and a touchdown. During the Baltimore Colts' final game winning drive in overtime, Barry had two key receptions for 33 yards. He caught, he caught three consecutive passes for 62 yards to set the Colts up. Try Raymond Barry ended his NFL career in 1967 with an NFL record 631 receptions for 9,275 yards and 68 touchdowns. In 1973, Barry was voted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. In 1999, he was ranked number 40 on the Sporting News list of the 100 greatest football players. Raymond Barry a living legend. Frank Robinson, born August 31st, 1935, is an American former Major League Baseball outfielder and manager. He played for five teams from 1956 to 1976 and became the only player to win MVP honors in both the National and American Leagues. He won the Triple Crown as a member of two teams that won the World Series, the 1966 and 1970 Baltimore Orioles, and amassed fourth most career home runs at that time of his retirement. He's currently ninth. Robinson was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1982. Robinson was the first African-American hired to serve as manager in Major League history. He managed the Cleveland Indians during the last two years of his playing career, compiling a 186-189 record. He went on to manage the San Francisco Giants, the Baltimore Orioles, the Montreal Expos, and the Washington Nationals. Currently, he is the honorary president of the American League. Robinson had a long and successful playing career, unusual for a star in that era before free agency. He split his best years between two teams, the Cincinnati Reds, 1956 to 1965, and the Baltimore Orioles, 1966 to 1971. The later years of his career were spent with the Los Angeles Dodgers, 1972, California Angels, 1973 to 74, and Cleveland Indians, 1974 to 76. He is the only player to be named most valuable player in both leagues. In 1961 with the Reds and again in 1966 with the Orioles. In his rookie year, 1956, he tied the then record of 38 home runs by a rookie as a member of the Cincinnati Reds and was named Rookie of the Year. Although the Reds won the National League pennant in 1961, Robinson won his first MVP that year. In July, he batted 409 hit 13 home runs, and drove in 34 RBIs to win the National League Player of the Month. His best offensive year arguably came in 1962 when he hit 342 with 39 runs, 51 doubles, 208 hits, his only 200-plus hit season. He had 136 RBIs and 134 runs. Frank Robinson, a living legend.